43-year-old Travis Glenn is in pain nearly every day of his life, pain caused by sickle cell disease. He recently kept a diary of his pain while participating in a study published in Annals of Internal Medicine. The study found that patients suffering from sickle cell disease are in much greater pain than originally believed and try to manage their pain at home. Constant pain, nagging pain every day, all day. Sometimes worse than others, some days a little worse than others, but definitely every day you got a little pain. Imagine somebody taking a baseball bat and hitting you on your shin and hitting you on your shin and continuing to hit you on your shin for hours at a time. That's the kind of pain patients describe. Dr. Wally Smith led the study that looked at 232 patients and monitored their levels of pain associated with sickle cell disease. Pain in sickle cell disease is a pretty much everyday phenomenon. A third of our patients said they had pain nearly every day. Uh, we had at least half of our patients saying that they were in pain over half of their days. Sickle cell disease is caused by a mutation in a red blood cell gene that changes the smooth round blood cell into a sickle-shaped or C-shaped cell that's stiff and sticky and tends to clump and get stuck in the blood vessels. They take the shape of a, of a sickle because of inside of them uh, an abnormal hemoglobin called sickle hemoglobin, stretching them and deforming them. Those cells then cannot navigate very small blood vessels. They get torn up in the process. Uh, oxygen is not delivered to the tissues. Patients have pain organ damage, early death. A lot of us with sickle cell, the sad thing is, don't live to get very old. And that's uh, one of the harsher realities. Researchers say the results of the Annals of Internal Medicine study could change the way the disease is treated. I believe this is a landmark study. I believe that this study uh, will change uh, the way people view this disease. Think of it as a chronic pain syndrome. Uh, and I believe that the results will have implications both for policy, uh, for uh, medical care, and I hope for research. On behalf of the American College of Physicians, I'm Jim Lawrence.